morning all, evening all, afternoon everybody. Hope you're all well. Hope you're staying safe, hope you're having an awesome day and all of that. Uh, down at the bees, as you can probably tell, they're behind me, there we go. Uh, so down at the bees, relatively warm day today. We're at, um, oh yeah, we're about 10 degrees at the moment. Uh, overnight temperatures are around five or six. So it's a um, good sort of time just to have a quick check on the bees. Not really doing any, well, I'm not doing any inspection work as such, but all we're doing is basically just making sure they've got food and all that. Um, what I also want to talk about today is something that popped up in my comments, I think on the last video, uh, is about insulation. Now, insulation is a topic where if you ask a group of 10 beekeepers what they do for insulation, um, you'll like to get 10 different answers, um, which goes the same with a lot of things with beekeeping. But what we're going to do is I want to show you what I do and what seems to be working for us. Um, I have done things slightly differently to what I've done previous years, um, but um, this is purely for us. Now, I'm not going to slate anybody for doing things differently. I'm not going to get into an argument about which way is best, which way is you know, rubbish or anything like that. You, people bear in mind that when you're doing insulation of the hive, you need to bear in mind conditions, climate, where you are, all that sort of stuff, basically. And where I am in the UK, as you can see behind me, we're not bound under snow or anything like that. So we'll talk a little bit about insulation in just a second. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pause there, put the rest of my kit on, and I'm gonna show you uh, inside of a couple of hives. So you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit because I'm doing this one-handed. Uh, so they are, I've checked over on Abbey, New Hive, or New New Hive, and Demo Summer, and brings us onto this hive. And I just wanna show you what we do for insulation. So I'm just gonna pop this open. A lid off. So this is basically our insulation setup. It doesn't look pretty, I know, but what we've got is we've got like this wool sort of material, which is from Simon the Beekeeper, and a burlap sack. So burlap sack on top of the food, and then um, what we've got is then we've got this stuff in here, which just fills up the void in between the top of the roof and that. So I'll just take a quick peer. So we've got some food, probably a few dead bees, unfortunately. And in there, we've got life. I know we've got life, I can hear them. Oh, you might be able to see one or two walking about. So we've got life in there. So that's our insulation setup. Uh, I'll just pause you there while I get closed up. While I was in full swing of getting the bees done, I've just gone through and done all the rest of the bees. So we have done all six hives. All six hives are alive. And we've replaced the food on Abbey and we've replaced the food on that one up there. Uh, so we've got two more chunks of food on there. Everyone else has got food, everyone else is alive, everyone else is doing fine. So yeah, we're really happy with how the bees are doing. So it brings me back to my original point of insulation. So, I, like I said, I'm not slating anybody for how they do insulation. Um, when doing it, you need to obviously bear in mind the fact that you are in different areas, different climates. And again, this isn't a how-to, so this isn't how to wrap your hive or how to prepare for winter or anything like that. This is how I do it. So a little bit of insulation on top of the crown board seems to work well for me. Um, I did that previously with my other hives, but what I found was um, with the, the compressed foam which I was using, it didn't allow enough ventilation inside the hives, and so one of my hives got wet, uh, and that killed one of my hives, I believe. So what we've got now, we've got a bit of burlap on the top, which is, I believe, breathable, and then we've got a bit of foam of wall stuff on the top of that, just to fill in the void between the roof and the crown board, so it's just that gap there. It seems to work for me. Now, I don't put loads of things around my hive, I don't wrap it that way, because Personally, again, this is a personal thing. I don't think it's needed. We live in the UK and we're not prone to get, uh, or we don't normally get temperatures down anything lower than about minus four, minus five. Um, and, and that's real cold for us. Very rarely do we get anything more than that. So I don't really see the point of wrapping the hives as such. So a little bit of insulation on the top is what I do fine. I keep the boards open so the i've got um what are they called bottom boards the floors vented you know what i mean mesh floors that's what i've got so i've got them on the bottom and i keep the entrance open as well because from my experience from where i'm based and where i'm found is i find that ventilation is really important for my girls is i have nice open well ventilated hives with that insulation on the top just to stop too much of the heat getting out but seems to work fine for my goals. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm not here to get into an argument with anyone. Um, please give us a like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you're all really, really well. I hope you're staying safe and I hope you have an amazing day. All the best to you.